Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, November 4th to the 5th intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Cancer's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Cancer. I'm going to grab some cards here and then get a channeled message for you from spirit what's going on for cancers and cancers need to know ace of wands at the bottom of the deck cancer we have the three of swords the emperor the two of cups and the page of cups wow all right kids let's see what spirit has for you shall we They're saying it's playtime, Cancer. Play as often as you'd like. You need relief from your the seriousness that's happening in your life right now. Give yourself some attention. Release that which no longer serves you right now, Cancer. You'll be doing yourself a great service just by doing this. Releasing burdens, releasing... Mm, could be anything patterns of behavior it's a great time to release they're saying for you and bath they say this a lot about cancers all the time epsom salt bath especially now around the full moon that just occurred in taurus Something in your life is completed and it's weighing you down. There's a cycle that you're ending. This could be anything from a work to a romantic relationship, anything. But it's like, I don't know why it would be putting pressure on you. You would think if it's ending, it would take it off. But I feel like it's like weighing you down, feeling this heaviness. Yeah, definitely they're showing me the bath again. This is going to help. This Epsom salt bath, okay? And lavender, they're saying, lavender. Okay, thank you. All right. You may be starting a new love relationship. I feel like Cancer, with the Three of Swords and the Emperor here, you could be healing over a situation involving the Emperor or the Emperor. <laughs> Okay, um, I know, I always have fire trucks go by here all the time. Um, the emperor, okay, could be somebody in, in a position of authority, but, okay, like in a legal sense or something, there is heartbreak here, but it could also be a person, a romantic partner, but in any case, something's ending, something's ending. Now, with the Two of Cups and the Page of Cups, somebody is making you a love offer, Cancer. Somebody's coming. They could be younger than you, I'm feeling. All right, so let's see what's going on with the Emperor here. What's going on with the Emperor for my Cancers? The Magician. The Knight of Pentacles. Ah, the moon. Okay. The Hierophant, the moon, and the two of wands. Yeah, there was a decision made here. Okay. It could have to do with the Taurus here with the Hierophant. 
but something was hidden from you that you didn't know whatever it was it took a long time with the knight of pentacles here but there was a choice it's like two different paths that this emperor had to choose from sorry about that that this emperor had to choose from and it had an impact or will have an impact on your future here wow in any case the result ended as heartbreak for you whatever decision this is why is this heartbreaking for you eight of pentacles nine of swords oh cancer you put a lot of work into whatever this is yeah you put a lot of um a lot of yourself into this you were patient hoping for the best here whether this be a relationship or something else but this is an end of a cycle like i said something's ending for you oh, whoops one more here one more for the three of swords now to yeah so now it's i almost get this lost feeling like what do i do now it it throws you off kilter maybe this was somewhat unexpected you were hoping for um something better because of all the work that you put into it you were really focused on achieving the results the desired result i'm getting all right so on a happier note let's go to the page of cups because it's funny how oh my god it's funny. I'm sorry about that. It's crazy out there ever since the full moon. Okay. So this page of cups, um, I'm getting a nice, cheerful energy from this page of cups. So let's see. Who is this page of cups? Could be a Capricorn with the devil card here, but it could be just somebody who you have a strong sexual attachment to or will have. You're needing strength though. Why do you need strength? Ten of Swords. Okay, some of you, this is somebody from the past and some of you, it's somebody new. If it's somebody from the past, they're coming back to apologize. You're needing strength because I don't know if you're gonna believe them with the Ten of Swords here. If this is new, and that could be that devil energy, if it was a toxic relationship, right? If it's somebody new, you're going to be fair in your judgment of them. You're going to be you're, you're going to be more balanced. You're in a more balanced state of mind. Tell me more about if this person is new for Cancer. Ooh. Okay. We have the King of Swords. We have we have Libra here twice. It could be a Libra. We have the Seven of Wands and we have the Three of Cups. So some of you, it could be somebody that you're dating or will date, okay? But you're going to realize very quickly that this relationship is worth fighting for, okay? And the communication with this King of Swords is going to be fun, lighthearted communication. Tell me about the Two of Cups. This is something that you've been waiting for. You've been waiting a while for this. And I feel it's because whatever ended over here ended, it opened up. It opened a door for you. Five of Swords. Oh, Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Queen of Cups, Four of Cups, Five of Swords. I feel like you've been waiting a while for this, Cancer, but... And, and I feel like there's almost, there was like an anger at the universe and sort of a jealous sort of uh, feelings that arose when you saw other couples. It's like, I want that. Um, why is it taking so long? Because this needed to end. Whatever this is needed to end. Okay. And you were turning down opportunities because it was like, no, that's not what I want. No, that's not what I want. Be careful of the opportunities that you're turning down open your heart back up okay and listen to your intuition okay because i feel like somebody that you're dating you could be dating a couple of people you're going to come across somebody how do they feel about cancer how do they feel about cancer whoops okay 
temperance, four of pentacles, and nine of cups. They don't, they're not going to want to let you go. They're going to want to hang on to you because they look at you and they say, that's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I've been wishing for. And you as well. Okay. So you have an angel looking over this union. You're going to embrace this change. It may, sorry, my left ear is ringing. Pay attention to your feminine side, to your intuition, okay, to your heart space there. It's my left ear was ringing. So temperance, you're embracing this change, but it may take you a while. It may take you a while, okay? But you're creating something beautiful here. I do feel it is beautiful. Do you have to go through sort of, um, I don't know if this was a tower moment, uh, but it wasn't a fun moment, this heartbreak, whatever it is for you, right? But what comes out on the other side, okay, is, is really beautiful. I feel like you're going to enjoy the experience that you're going to be having as far as dating is concerned and meeting people. Yeah, you're going to put a lot of hard work into like your love life and your work. But you're going to find the balance. You're going to seek the balance and you're going to find it. You're going to be feeling good about yourself, Cancer. You're going to be listening to your intuition, feeling abundant, um, especially when you meet this individual. I really feel like you'll complement each other well. Be careful of the temptation to maybe go backwards, okay? Yeah. So if this is somebody from the past, because there may be a couple people over here, I would not trust them. All right, Cancer. Well, I hope this resonated with you. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Have yourself a fantastic day, evening or afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on the Dailies Cancer. Namaste.